shrinking cup from Paul? Catch me if you can! Grandpa is that he's always fun. We read Captain Dumble twit stories. His record sprung out of the side of the spaceship. We play lots of games. One of the things I like doing best with Grandpa is making pictures. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> and today, we were doing armchair exercises, but we weren't the only ones getting exercise. Dad and Jemima had gone on a massively long bike ride, and Mum's latest hobby was this. Salsa dancing. In fact, everyone in Sunny Sands had gone fitness mad. We were all trying to... shake up and shape up. Keep it up, Grandpa. It's really important you keep fit. Must be awful having to spend all your time in that chair. Of course, Mum has no idea that when Grandpa puts his shrinking cap on, he's more energetic than all of us. You better come to the bike shop with me today, Jason. We'll be busy. What with it being shake up and shake up. Oh! Mum had tripped over Jemima's dolls, Peter and Persephone. Luckily, she wasn't hurt. Look, how cute is that? <laughs> Peter and Persephone are both dressed to do the shake-up and shape-up too. What a snazzy outfit. I could do with something like that to do my exercising in. <laughs> Grandpa, you are so funny. <laughs> I'll just go and make the lunch boxes up and then we'll go. Tuna mayo, OK? I knew what Grandpa was thinking and it was a very worrying thought. Not a shrieking cup, Grandpa! <laughs> Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. He can fly off in my plane. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Grandpa! Or he could just run for all he's worth. Has he? It's all about exercising. Must have worn him out. I know. We'll take the music down to the shop and practice while we're waiting for customers. Come on, Jason Mason. So Mum and I went off to the bike shop in Campo. And Mum said... I could really do with a partner for my salsa dancing. And I said, what about Dad? And Mum said... <laughs> Dad, he's got two left feet. He can't dance any better than Grandpa. And I thought, if only she knew. Soon we arrived at the bike shop. It's called Lend It, Mend It and Vend It. Because we lend, mend and sell bikes. We'd been at the bike shop for a while, but there was no sign of Grandpa. I was starting to think that he decided to stay at home after all. Oh, run out of bells! All that chasing about after Grandpa had made me feel hungry. So I opened my lunchbox and what should I find in the space where Mum puts my banana? Grandpa! At last. I thought you'd never open up. It stinks of tuna in here. Paul. What are you doing? I've come to shake up and shape up, of course. Not here, you can't. Somebody will see you. But once Grandpa's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> 
Grandpa was well away, dancing the cha-cha-cha up and down the counter. Then all of a sudden, the door opened, and who should walk in but... Mr. Whoops! Whoops! This is a surprise! <laughs> I thought I should do my bit for Shake Up and Shape Up Week, so I've decided to buy a bike. <gasps> That's marvellous. I've got a bike in the workshop that would be perfect for you. Come and see. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Wh whoops. <laughs> what colour is it? Mr <laughs> Whoops riding a bike? We can't let that happen, Jason. It'll be a disaster. I had to agree with Grandpa. You see? <gasps> Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. Oh, oh, oh. He drops things. Oh. Oh. He falls over things. Oops. Oh. He falls off things. Whoops. He even trips over his own feet. Whoops. We needed to stop Mr. Whoops from buying a bike. We needed to make a plan. But there was no time to make a plan. Because just at that moment, Mr. Whoops' mum came back in, wheeling a shiny red bike. Oh, this is so exciting. I've never even sat on a bike before. And now I'm going to ride one all over Sunny Sands. <laughs> Riding a bike, Mr. Whoops, is very hard. Maybe you should try a different sport. Do you think so? Like what? Um, uh, uh, like cricket? Oh, no. I'm not very good with bats. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> Um, uh, maybe, um, football? Oh, no. I'm not very good with balls. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bike riding is definitely the thing for me. And I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's try it out now. Oh, yes. Let's. Yes. Shall I just put that leg <laughs> Oh, well, you can do it that way. So Mum held the bike while Mr Whoops climbed on. <laughs> what? <laughs> this I, think, oh, uh, I think I've got it now. There we go. Oh, yes. He um, put his feet carefully on the pedals and... Whoa! I quickly hid Grandpa so they couldn't see him. Whoops. Oh, perhaps the saddle's too high. <laughs> ah, this is what I need. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? A little cyclist. That's Jemima's doll, Peter. Did you bring it with you, Jason? Sort of. He could be my lucky mascot. I love his outfit. Do you have anything like that in my size? The good news was that Mum did have a cycling suit to fit Mr Whoops. The bad news was that Mr Whoops had put his lucky mascot on the handlebars. Why don't you take the bike for a test ride? Yes, now I've got my lucky mascot, I can do anything. Everything was going wrong. Grandpa's plan was to stop Mr Whoops riding a bike, not to go with him. Time to shake up and shape up. Here we go! Good luck! Just keep pedalling! Don't look so worried, Jason. I'm sure Mr Whoops is going to be fine. I think he's going to absolutely love cycling. <laughs> Whoops! Mum put some bandages on Mr Whoops and I took his lucky mascot off the bike and put him on the counter. I was hoping that Mr Whoops' accident had put him off bike riding. But no. I nearly did it. I'm going to try one more time. No, you mustn't. You can't. Of course he can. You know the saying. If at first you don't succeed... Try doing something else. Everybody's good at something. You just have to find out what it is. But I'm not good at any sports. Then I saw Grandpa. He was sending me a message. It doesn't have to be a sport, Mr. Whoops. How about salsa dancing? Salsa dancing? Perfect! Come on, Mr. Whoops. Whoops! <laughs> Mr. Whoops turned out to be a brilliant dancer. He and Mum did the shake up and shape up salsa all afternoon. And Grandpa got to dance too. Whoops! Time to go.
go home, Grandpa. How would you rather travel? In my pocket or in my lunchbox? Don't mind. Anything. So long as it's not a bike. <laughs> At the end of the day, I brought Grandpa home safely in my pocket. I ran inside ahead of Mum. Put him on the floor. Grandpa quickly whipped off his cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, we did it, Jason. We got Mr. Whoops to shake up and shape up without hurting himself. That's what I call teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> there you are, Grandpa. You'll never guess what we've been doing while you've been resting. Salsa dancing by any chance? Yes. With Mr. Whoops. I might not have sold him a bike, but I have found myself a new dancing partner. Now, who's for some more dancing? Come on, Grandpa, get those arms moving. Actually, I'm feeling a bit tired. You? Tired? But you haven't done anything. <laughs>